All right, we don't have patch notes yet, but what we do have is a brand new article from the Sims team. So you know what? We are going to get started with this to start. Um, first thing that I want to say before we get into anything today is um, thank you to everyone that um, has donated for uh, my fundraiser for the month of March. I'm doing it for the whole month of March and the fundraiser is tagged on this video so you can help me raise money here for St. Jude or you can help me raise money on every other video for the rest of the month of March. But before we get into anything, I want to light my prayer candles because we have to make sure that things go smoothly. <laughs> and <laughs> I think this is kind of pointless at this point because the EA app is experiencing server crashes. <laughs> If you haven't noticed already, um, I also want to say first before we start reading this, which I now drop this onto the floor, I have one question for you guys. We're going to start reading this in one minute, okay? Have you backed up your mods folder, backed up your tray folder, backed up your saves and all of your CC and mods? Have you made another location and copied and pasted it somewhere else just in case there's a problem. I hope that the answer that you guys put in the chat is yes, by the way. But I will say, if the answer is no, then I highly recommend that you guys take the time now to back up everything before you update your game, okay? Yes, I'm seeing a lot of yeses in the chat. I'm very happy with you guys right now. But if the answer is no, stop, drop, and roll. Go to your mods folder <laughs> and throw that crap onto the desktop. Copy and paste it because this patch is massive. Some Grunick confirmed on Twitter it's the biggest patch size-wise. All right, guys, we're getting started here. Let's make this big. Let's blow this up to 200 font and let's start. Launch the game. No, no we're not launching the game because it's probably broken right now. Um, <laughs> no, I'm joking. All right, we're gonna start right here, guys. Soul Soul, Simmers. I'm Sim Guru Graham, and I've been fortunate to work alongside a passionate team of folks within Maxis that have rallied around a single goal. Maxis. To surpass your expectations for freeing the babies in The Sims 4. And they're freed. With today's edition of Infants, a brand new life stage, we hope you'll agree that we've lived up to our objective and that you'll find infants to be the best little sims you've ever experienced in a sims game. Yes. Also, I have to say, guys, I'm running off no sleep and caffeine. The only thing that's keeping me going, and by the way, this is not sponsored, Charge Lemonade from Panera Bread. This has 300 milligrams of caffeine. Right now, I am seeing sounds and hearing colors. But you know what? This is what's going to get us through patch day. Game. Let's go. <laughs> After you finish downloading today's update and you rush to launch the game, you may be wondering what the fastest way is to start discovering the joy that infants bring to your Sims household. Oh, I'm ready. Of course, there's tried and true options like adoption, or finding your favorite woohoo spot and letting nature take its course. You could even try a new interaction available on your Sims phone to have a science baby. Science babies? Confirmed Baby, and out now. Which lets you attempt a little platonic genetic mixing and see what the outcome may be. Personally, though, I'd suggest setting all that aside and simply heading into Create a Sim to start customizing every aspect of a brand new infant. It's a first in the mainline Sims franchise to have this level of customization over a Sim this young, and you'll discover lots to tweak and try on. There's everything from stork bites that fade away over time to a baby head-shaping helmet, and of course plenty of adorable outfits and hairstyles. Before you leave CAS, don't forget to select one of the six new traits that will significantly affect the personality of your infant. Have you guys been watching early access content? I've watched a little bit of it. I don't want to watch too much because I don't want to spoil absolutely every little detail. I want to like, you know, and you know find things out and enjoy things on my own time i'm really nervous we're gonna finish this article and there's gonna be no patch notes still guys because this is this is getting kind of crazy there's still no patch notes so what am i gonna do when i've done this article i, I want to go straight to the patch notes you know what they need to start doing because it's obvious that they type all this out in advance 
I hope that they start scheduling them to go up right at one o'clock or like 105 because I feel I feel like we're always waiting like 30 40 minutes for the patch notes I'm like what's going on where are the patch notes where are the patch notes yeah um I'm also hearing guys I want to let you know right now um if you haven't already attempted to update your games I honestly just recommend that you wait a couple of hours because apparently there's a lot of issues right now with EA app. They're probably scrambling to figure it out. I'm sure a lot of players are trying to update their games right now. Probably tens of thousands, maybe even hundreds of thousands of people are trying to update their game at the same time and the EA app probably cannot handle it. So um, people are being logged out. Apparently I'm reading that people's games are missing from their libraries, which is crazy. So I'm probably going to wait a few hours before I attempt um, just until traffic slows down. But yeah, it's a little bit messy of a rollout. Figured I would let you know in case you're wondering, hmm, should I update now or wait a couple hours? I say wait a couple of hours if you haven't already tried. Infant. Back in live mode, you'll find the world has much to offer an infant. It's live mode, ma'am. It's live mode. Thank you. Infant. All ages of the family are able to socialize with infants, making for many cute camera-worthy moments. With the ability to crawl, you'll need to keep an eye on your infants as well. While they'll happily push around nesting blocks or attempt to play with a dollhouse, they can also get up to mischief by exploring common household objects. Thankfully you'll find new baby lock functionality at your fingertips on all gates and doors and a cute new baby fence that's perfect for keeping your little ones secured in an area. I like this cute little blog post. This is nice. It's like a little happy introduction to infants. It's definitely giving me like throwback to toddlers. Like if you guys were around when they patched in toddlers, that was like the biggest gag of all time. Like it just came out of nowhere. And yeah, it's sad that it had to come in an update because it should have come in the base game, but they probably ran out of time making the base game and knew they couldn't get toddlers in. So that was expected to come, honestly, and it needed to come. And if it didn't, then, you know, people would have been mad, which they were that it wasn't in the base game. But infants, guys, here now, also with this update, uh, newborns, they've updated like the facial expressions too i've seen from some of the early access stuff the skin tones and all of that stuff we've got new bassinets we have bug fixes we have a new pie menu for the interactions there's so many little things gosh i really hope these patch notes come in the next five minutes what are we going to do when we finish this <laughs> oh no ea guys the ea app is having some big problems right now i would just log out wait area <laughs> Nurturing will play an important role in your infant's development. I could bet you the patch notes aren't coming right now, guys, because um, <laughs> they're probably all scrambling to make sure that people can at least get the update. Let me go refresh. Let's see if they're... No, they're still not out. The last one is from February 6th. There's still no patch notes. <laughs> all right, let's, let's, let's continue this at least. <laughs> development. While caring for an infant's attention motive is a clear way to ensure they're getting the socialization they need, infants also form attachments to their household members through regular interaction and bonding. This is key to an infant's development and can result in special reward traits that influence their proficiency at forming healthy relationships over the span of their life. One great example of quality time spent between a caregiver and infant is exploring various foods in the high chair. Yeah, we saw that. I can't wait for the lemon one. That's <laughs> seeing their face when they tried the lemons, the little, little sour faces. <laughs> I might as well blow out my prayer candles because things didn't go smoothly. So, <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Chair where infants will start learning things that they like, love, or dislike. I think, honestly, I think I lit them a little too late. But I do want to say, um, from what I did see with early access, it's so cool that it literally notes in the UI what the infant likes and dislikes as they try it. That is so cute. This this whole pack is just about discovering at like literally everything. I love it. It's honestly going to add so much replay value because not only do you have to discover everything, but there's so many different options and possible outcomes. It's like every time you play, you're going to get something different. Ugh. Dislike. And worry not, quality of life improvements are here for the high chair for both infants and toddlers. Holy crap, I do want to say, I want to pause this again to say, there are 7,000 people here. That is insane. Imagine if every, 
Imagine if every single one of you 7,000 people donated a dollar to St. Jude on here right now. That would be crazy. My goal is $5,000 raised for St. Jude by the end of March. Let's see if we can do it, guys. Let's see if we can do it. Also, Witch, thank you for becoming a channel member. You're awesome. Let's continue this. Toddlers. We've made updates so that your little sims won't be so demanding about constantly wanting to be released from the high chair. Yeah, that was evil of them. Today's update also includes a variety of furniture and decor options to build your dream nursery with. In particular, you'll want to place one of the brand new cribs to help ensure your infant gets a quality night's sleep. You'll find cribs that perfectly match a number of thematic styles, while others serve more practical purposes. If you're the type of sim family that's constantly on the go and vacationing to new places, the portable travel crib is just what you need. Oh, yes. More practical families may opt for an upgradable crib, which can be transformed into a toddler bed when their infant is ready for the next stage of their life. They talked about that on the stream. Isn't that so cool? There's there's so many like upgradables too with this. Let me go check and see if the patch notes are in yet, guys. <laughs> Still no patch notes. <laughs> Come on, guys. I swear it better not be till two o'clock. Come on, guys. <laughs> Life. We got a stall, no guys. No matter which crib you choose, they Whoa! all have the ability to install a mobile which gently all the donation. Hold on. relaxing lullabies. Uh, relaxing lullabies. Shut up. Shut the lullabies up for a second. You guys are all donating right now to St. Jude. Thank you. Ava, a dollar. Anonymous, five. Oh my gosh. There's so many. Anonymous, five. Miss, uh, Miss Atoth, a dollar. Thank you so much. Anonymous, five dollars. You guys are awesome. Thank you. I wish I could like pin the um I wish I could pin the fundraiser back. It's gone from the pinned and I don't know how to put it back. Mods, if you know how to put that back up, can you help me? <laughs> I don't know how to do that. Wait, maybe I can do it here. There's a donate now button. Donate now. Um I wanna pin it. I don't okay. You guys are awesome. I just want to say thank you to everyone donating to St. Jude. Let's crash that $5,000 goal by the end of March, guys. We have half a month to go. I don't know why I accidentally paused the music. This was not a dramatic moment at all. Lullabies, <laughs> ensuring even an infant with a wiggly trait will drift off to sleep. I also want to share some improvements we've made to your existing Sims. The babies that you've had in your game since The Sims 4 launched are now known as newborns. Yes! And they still play an important role in the early progression of your Sims and life. And they got upgraded. The time spent in this age has been shortened significantly. Newborns now represent the first couple of days after birth before they age up to become infants. Also, I heard this during early access, but I don't remember any of the gurus talking about it. Maybe the gurus did talk about it. Maybe I just completely missed it. But apparently, the um, infants in The Sims 4 are set around the 8 to 9 month range for like how they are realistically in real life. Which I thought was interesting that they chose that specific time. Which I guess makes sense. It feels like a perfect in between between our newborns, which are, uh, you know, obviously newborns, you know, fresh babies, <laughs> fresh, ba that sounds so weird, fresh babies, freshly born babies. And then the toddlers that we currently already have, which you would say are like, how old would you say our toddlers are like between like the one and a half to two year old in real life age range? I mean, I wouldn't say they're older than two, but I also wouldn't say they're younger than a year and a half. So probably about that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, one to two years. So I feel like I feel like they did a good job and chose a happy medium. Some people were kind of like, I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's as good as they're going to get with the infants, honestly, because if it was any earlier, they'd resemble newborns too much. Any later, they'd resemble toddlers too much, you know? Infants. Although you'll spend less time with newborns, we added some great changes to improve this age. First and foremost, newborns now have the same range of skin tones as all of our other sim ages. Finally! Other visual changes include having their correct eye colors and adjustments to their appearance and movements that help skew them even younger. So you'll be able to see their eye colors and stuff now like actually depicted accurately as a newborn. Oh, so cool. All right. Younger. 
They'll now fit right into the family from the moment they're brought home from the hospital. Okay, I interrupt this program. We have an announcement from this from the official Sims team. Soul Soul Simmers, we've noticed several players using the EA, EA app to access The Sims 4 are unable to log in. We've connected with the team EA Help to work towards providing a solution as soon as possible. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. I really thought we were going to have a, a perfectly smooth release for once, guys. I really thought so. We were so close. We were so close. I think what I might have to do when I get to the end of this, guys, is just end the stream and then come back again. Because, I mean, I don't want to sit on here and just talk about nothing while waiting for the patch. It, the, the, the patch notes might take, like, another hour or two to come in, you know? And when this goes up as a video, I don't want to have to, like, crop it a million times, you know? I want to make sure that it's easy for people to come back and watch afterwards. Matt, don't leave. Talk to us. You, you guys are like, please don't leave me. <laughs> Wait, your library is gone? Like every single game? How many of you are experiencing issues with EA app? I saw some people talking about like there's some like there's some like fix or hack to keep origin and not use EA app. And I saw like a bunch of people talking about it and saying that it works. And I was going to make a video on it, but I wasn't too sure about it. But honestly, I still haven't switched. I still have Origin. Yeah, I have. that's how long it's been since I've opened my thing. So now I'm thinking to myself, should I try to just do that little fix to keep Origin? Because I don't want the EA app. I don't want that. <laughs> Is my whole... Wait. Okay, never mind. I thought my whole face was like keying out, but my computer screen's just not... Right. All right, let's continue this at least while we wait for the patch notes. Hospital. Children and toddlers are finally able to interact with newborns, such as taking the opportunity to approach the bassinet and entertain them with youthful antics. We've also made significant quality of life improvements. No longer will caregivers awkwardly set newborns back inside the bassinet in between every social interaction. With all of these changes, you'll find that the newborn age now represents a short but sweet moment in each Sim's life. Newborn overhaul along with the new infants. There's so much to discover, guys. Oh, you guys are frustrated. I'm sorry. I'm. It, it's such a bittersweet day. It, it really is such a bittersweet moment because it's like we have an awesome patch like this, but of course, things aren't rolled out correctly. Still no patch notes, guys. I'm really starting to wonder if we're going to get them today. <laughs> because that's what this stream's supposed to be about. So, I mean, if we don't if we don't get them, I don't know what I'm going to do, guys. <clears throat> yeah, it's 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 insane. I wonder if YouTube lets you, once you put up a stream, I know that they let you trim out like a beginning segment if you have an intro, and I know they let you trim out and, you know, an end segment if you just have like a black screen or something, you know, they let you edit like that and make changes. I wonder if they let you snip out like a middle part in case I just put on like a be right back screen or something. I wonder if I can do that. I've never tried that. Every day, the Sims team has me thinking of new ways to make this work. <laughs> Whoa! Did they update this with more? Oh, they put... You guys, they added pictures. They added more pictures to it that weren't here before. Or were these here before? I don't know. Were they here before? Maybe not. It's all in my head. You guys. I like the fact that... Look at his face. I like the fact that we're able to actually, like, upgrade the cribs and put mobiles on them. That's gonna be so cute! Ah! All right, we're on to the last part, guys. All in all, we're thrilled to deliver this update to all simmers. Infants were a special project for our team to work on, and we hope they'll bring fun and joy, or for some of you, an entirely new level of challenge to your time playing The Sims 4. Dag dag. There's still no patch notes. What do I do? <laughs> do I come back? I think I'm going to come back. <laughs> I just don't want to sit on here and bore you guys to death. What do you want to do? What do you want to talk about? <laughs> we
was not expecting this. <laughs> Well, in other news, I have a new match on Tinder. Should I tell them about how the new patch for The Sims 4 is out and that they should go download it? <laughs> oh. Let me... Not you popping up on here again. Swipe left. How many times do I have to say no for you to keep coming up here? <laughs> All right. Since I need to keep conversation with you guys while we wait for the patch notes, I guess I'll just keep refreshing then while we wait for things to come in here. Oh, what do you want to talk about? Have I updated? No, and judging by the chat right now, I don't know if I want to. <laughs> I think Matthew wants to wait. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you guys so much for all of the donations to St. Jude. Holly, thank you for the $5. I'm trying to scroll up to see. I wish that like the stream platform would actually put the donation on the screen so you guys could see it, but there's no way for me to configure that, unfortunately, with YouTube. It would work properly with Twitch, but of course not YouTube. YouTube's not that friendly. But appreciate you guys yeah let's talk about growing together what are you guys looking forward to most have you guys seen early access content what are you looking forward to the most with this i'm gonna say i'm really excited for going together guys but i think i'm actually more excited for infants honestly like i've said this before i don't mind the patches coming tuesday than the packs coming thursday or friday but i feel like we should have more time with the patch before we get the pack do you feel like that too? In case there's issues, more time for them to work out, you know, the kinks and the issues for the patch. And then when the pack comes out, there's going to be issues with that. Like always, it's normal with game development. I'd rather them drop the patch on a Tuesday and then the pack the next Tuesday. That way we have a full week with it to get used to it, to get bugs sorted. Not, you know, that way everything's just not all at once. It's too crazy. I really hope I don't think they'd ever do that, but I really hope that they would really consider that in the future. Just so that things ran smoother. I wonder how much we're up to now, guys, on this, uh... On our, uh, St. Jude giveaways here. Oh, it does show the donations. It's under viewer activity. I should have seen! Pasta, thank you for donating 5 to St. Jude. Anonymous, 20. Shalom, thank you for the 20 to St. Jude. Debbie, the five. You're amazing. Holly, happy nappy curls. Lilith, queen of the hell. I love that username. <laughs> Sierra, $50 to St. Jude. Anonymous, $5. Day, 250 What? Anonymous, five. Romany, thank you. Mariah. Leah, GT Monica, Anonymous, 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 so many Anonymous donations. Okay, SimGuru Ninja just tweeted now, <laughs> EA app hates babies confirmed. We're having some tough words with the app right now. Thank you for your patience. Okay, so confirmed, they're probably not even worried about posting the patch notes. They're worried about just making sure they get the update up and out. <laughs> so, um... If there's nothing by 2 o'clock, guys, I think I'm going to end this at 2 o'clock, and then we will reconvene when the patch notes come. How does that sound? That's probably going to be what I am going to do, whether you like it or not, because I want to make sure this is easy for people that just want to click on this when this is done and just get the notes and everything without having to skim through me talking about nothing. Let me go to the bottom of the chat. I'm like missing all your guys' messages right now. <laughs> Don't end. Don't leave us. Stay with us, please. <laughs> this might be the longest we've waited for patch notes, actually. You guys keep seeing the screen flashing. That's me refreshing it. <laughs> I'm really worried to open mine. I'm not going to attempt. No, I'm probably going to wait till like 5 or 6 p.m. tonight, I think. I want to... um. 
I want to see what everyone's saying in a couple hours from now if things are moving smooth. Also, I have been doing all this talk about updating or um, backing up your mods and saves and trays. <laughs> I haven't even done it yet. <laughs> I was waiting for this. Um, but don't worry, I have my flash drive ready. I'm going to just put everything on my flash drive. Put it on my laptop because I'm also going to get everything updated on my laptop too. Because sometimes when I'm lazy and don't feel like playing in my computer, I like to play in bed, <laughs> then I'll play from my laptop. It's updating finally. Are you guys finally getting into EA Play app? They should like temporarily rename that app for the day to EA You Will Not Play. <laughs> Let me shut up. I'm not funny at all. Oh, wow. More donations. Two from Anonymous. Liz, thank you. Amanda Complex E. Caddy Kit Soul. Alyssa, more Anonymous. Manga, thank you. Witchy Woman. Ooh, that was a terrible belch. Maisha, thank you. Tina Weaver one of my patrons i recognize that name very well huge shout out to you pasta flavored noodles <laughs> i love that name thank you guys so much for all of your donations anna joe ellery rose jeez we raise a lot of money when we go live i should go live more often <clears throat> i should really go live more often come on <laughs> come through <laughs> I'm just waiting. I'll have to see if uh, they let me trim. If YouTube will let me trim out all of this rambling after the stream goes up as a video. Because I know the average person is not going to want to sit through me talking about a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> What's crazy is if I stop this, you guys already know the patch notes are gonna go. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. And we have 7,000 people here, guys. Anonymous, $20. Thank you. Anonymous, 5. Anonymous, 1. Nora. Oh, Nora and Witchy became members. Thank you. I'll be updating my end credits to add you guys and also all the other amazing new members. <laughs> Wait, you're saying if you stop this, you make people mad. But here's the thing. If I stop this, I make people mad. But if I ramble for an hour waiting for the patch notes and then this goes up as a video, and then people have to skim through. Those people are going to be mad. I don't win either way. So I might as well... <laughs> Might as well flip a coin on it. Anonymous, thank you for the $11 donation to St. Jude. I kind of want to see where we're at now with donations. Let's check and see where we're at with donations. Oh my gosh! We Okay, when we started this live stream, guys, we were at $2,054. We are at $3,600 for St. Jude! <laughs> Aaron Wood, thank you for becoming a member. Hilm, thank you for the $20 donation to St. Jude. Anonymous. Kitty. Oh my gosh. Aristari or Aristari. Yvonne Jones, thank you. Oh my goodness. Almost $4,000 for St. Jude. Holy crap. All right, let's refresh. No, where are you? <laughs> You know what? This is all in the name of raising money. The longer we wait, the more money we raise for St. Jude. So, you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> By the time the patch notes come, our viewers are going to be like... 20. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
what's crazy is normally like what I do with the patch is I'll I'll schedule it for one o'clock and say like we go live when the patch notes come. It could be 115, 130, 145. But then I also think, what if I just don't schedule it at all? You know? <clears throat> what if I don't schedule it at all? But then it's like, then people can't set their reminders, you know? And I like when people are, are, are able to know when it's coming or when to expect it, set their reminders and all that stuff. So I think what I might st start doing from now on with these patch live streams is just set it for 2 p.m. and not 1 p.m. Since it's likely going to be coming before 2 p.m. usually. That way we just start early instead of starting 45 minutes late. <laughs> I don't know. For those of you that were able to get your update working, what are you thinking about the infant so far? Are you experiencing any issues? Bubblegum, thank you for the $2 donation. Junk food, thank you for the $5 donation. Jeez, I was not expecting to talk this much, guys. I really thought this was going to be 20 minutes of patch notes, one and done. <clears throat> You guys are saying patch notes are out? Are they really? Where'd the patch notes? Okay, so this is the blog post. We just read that. And this is where the patch notes would be. And there's still nothing here. It says February 6th is the latest one. Wait, you said they're... They're lying? <laughs> They're lying. Okay. Watch them pop up now, though. <laughs> Come on, patch notes. Let's go. Come on. Come on. This, this live is a whole lot of nothing. I'm so sorry to you guys sitting through this. If you're watching this back after the stream... I hope you have a good hearty meal and I hope you have some strong alcohol sitting through this. <laughs> oh my gosh. All these new donations I'm missing. Junk food art. Two more from Anonymous. Thank you guys. Thank you. Also, I wanted to ask how big is the patch? What's the what's the file size on it? Okay, I see 3 gigs, I see 10 gigs, I see 11 gigs. I see- th I'm seeing a lot of 3 gigs, but I'm seeing some 11 gigs. So what is the truth? Who's lying? <laughs> Liars, I just- I just see the- A whole chat full of numbers and then one person in all caps, LIARS! <laughs> That's right, call them out, LIARS. Okay, it's probably three gig. I, a lot of people are saying three gigs. That's still a lot. That's isn't that like the size of like an expansion pack? It's crazy. All right, let's check back up on this website. News and updates. <sighs> so while we're all around the campfire tiara thank you for the uh one dollar donation to saint jude you're amazing steam has the patch notes hold on are you are you serious okay let's let's check steam out here All right, we're gonna go on Steam and see if we can pull them up there. Also, I was really hoping, cause this shirt has um, a green stripe, guys. I was hoping that like, I would key out into the background in lines, but it didn't work out. I'm very sad about that. Seems full. Let's look for, where does, does Steam even post patch notes? Why have I never heard of this before? I'm surprised. The majority of reviews for this game are very positive. I am shocked. <laughs> um, let me see. Community Hub, maybe? 
news. Hold on, okay. Someone gave me a link. Hold on, I gotta find it now. Hey, um, mods, if you have a link to the patch notes, can you DM them to me on Instagram? This chat is just moving way too fast. I'm currently trying to battle for my life finding them on Steam. <laughs> I don't play on Steam, so I don't know. Um, guides, reviews, discussions? Is that where it is? No. It wouldn't be on the store page now, would it? No, it wouldn't be on the store page. You'd think there'd be a big button, guys, that says, Patch Notes. Wait, it says, See All Updates. Yeah, the last one they have here is January 31st, Patch. So that it's not, it's not even on, wait. Let me not speak too soon or forever hold my peace because. No. No, they're not on. It's not on Steam. I'm not seeing it. All right, guys, I might. Ryan, thank you for the five dollars for St. Jude. Thank you. Liars. I don't believe anyone. You're liars. <laughs> Sometimes the patch notes become available first on EA's website before they go on the forums, actually. I've seen that happen before, but I'm refreshing both and I'm not seeing anything, so. Stay live for donations? Okay. What are we at now? I know what to do, guys. I know exactly what to say here. We're at 3,738. If we can get to $4,000 raise for St. Jude by 2.10, that is in seven minutes, then I will continue staying until the patch notes come, even if that means hours. God, that's a big commitment because I'm getting sleepy. <laughs> It's for a good cause. That's all that matters. It's for a good cause. Tell us a story. Let me think of one. I'm trying to think. Hmm. My, um, my dog's birthday was just a couple of days ago. He turned four. I can't believe, I can't believe he's, I can't believe he's virtually one third of the way through his life. That's crazy. I remember when he was a baby puppy. But, um... Whoa, someone donated a hundred? Hold on! Whoa! Short fix donated two hundred dollars to St. Jude! You're amazing! Anonymous, five dollars to St. Jude! Holly, five dollars to St. Jude! Anonymous, another dollar! Anna, a hundred dollars to St. Jude? What? Rebecca, Taylor, thank you for becoming a member. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, you guys said it first. Looks like I might be staying. Uh, we've already. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, you're right. I gave my word. I gave my word. Wow. Wow. <laughs> now this makes me elated. It's just, it's just so crazy that like you guys can come together to do that. Like it's just, I don't know. It's just, it still boggles me that I can sit at my computer and talk to thousands of people at the same time. Yet I'm is sitting in my room by myself. And my dog is snoring on the bed and that like i can just raise money digitally like it's just insane to think that we can do that and it's just like if you were to time travel back 50 years and say that to someone they'd be like what <laughs> 
It's just crazy. It's crazy. Come on, patch notes. Come on, patch notes. Come on. Come on. Every time I see it change, I'm like, it's here. Yes, but it's not. No. Watch them like make a post and say, sorry guys, we are officially delaying the patch notes for two weeks and the pack is delayed until May, until further notice. We're having itch. What would you do <laughs> after all that time? No, that's not gonna happen obviously, but that, that would be crazy. Let me take a sip of this. I was just thinking to myself, guys, to pass the time, we could load up The Sims 4 and like make a sim, but then I remembered, oh, that requires me to update. <laughs> We're not doing that. So now I'm thinking, while waiting for the patch notes, come on, come through. Maybe, hold on, I have an idea. I have an idea. This might be loud, and I think by the time you guys hear it, you guys will know what I'm doing. Okay, for those of you that are, uh, have been asking about the Life Stories LP, I have the last two parts filmed and done. They've been sitting on my computer for months. I have to get them up, but I was, it's just been so crazy with all those news. I have just not even uploaded them, but the final two parts for Life Stories are ready. So I'll probably drop them soon. Um, I'll probably drop them at the same time. And I do plan on continuing that, by the way. We're going to do the other stories. Um, but I guess we'll just load in and while we're waiting... <laughs> I have never done this before. This is so strange, guys. This is so strange. <laughs> We're, this is a patch notes video. We raised how much? 4,300 4, now. Ella, a voice. Brianna, thank you guys. Jillian, redheaded princess. Oh my gosh. Sarcasm shrine. Keta, thank you guys. Witchy Woman, thank you for the donation. I love that username, by the way, a voice for the missing. I love that username. Um, so if you haven't noticed, uh, if you watched the LP, since we're waiting on the patch notes now, guys, I should probably put on the screen awaiting patch notes and text, but you guys will already know. We have babies. We have babies, guys, now. So the, the crazy part is this is this is the spoiler for the for the upcoming parts. You guys will not believe the first part. We could not get her to have the baby. She was pregnant for like three weeks. I swear to God, she was pregnant for like three sim weeks. I thought there was a glitch. I thought something happened. I didn't know what was going on, but she 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 did finally have the baby. And I've, I've, I've almost like quit the LP because I was like, why isn't she having the baby? And then she finally had the baby. Um, by the way, I'm going back and forth between the web browser to refresh for the patch notes every couple of minutes. Oh, she's got to go to work. <clears throat> this is so crazy. We're waiting on these patch notes. <laughs> We're just going to play Sims 2 or Sims Life Stories. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is just wild. I would have never expected this i didn't get any sleep last night and i told myself you'll get through the day matt you got a 20 minute live stream and then that's it then you can just take a nap and go to bed <laughs> ea was like not on my watch not on my watch ma'am 
All right, we're gonna cuddle William. By the way, this one's William. We're gonna play. And then we're also going to cuddle and play. Look at this creepy bear doll thing with a tag on it and a little clown face. It's giving Pennywise in bear form. It's creepy, I know. Wait, the patch notes are here. Are you lying? N there's no patch notes. Why are you lying? <laughs> Why are you lying? I'm refreshing and there's nothing here. Why do you guys keep lying to me? I'm refreshing. It says February 6th. <laughs> Wait, okay, they're here, they're here. They're officially here. Oh my gosh, okay. Um, 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 quit. I'm so sorry. I love you since family, but we have better things to attend to. And that is Le Patch Notes. So let me transform. Let's fit to screen. Um, let me do this again. It did not fit the screen correctly. There we go. Are, are you guys ready? Free the babies. Let's freaking go. Come on, guys. <laughs> Can we get spam the chat with baby bottle emojis? Just spam the chat with baby bottle emojis. We're going to start this thing right now. Three, two, one. Let's go. Infant base game update and bug fixes console. 1.71 PC, 1.96.365.1030 slash Mac, 1.96.365.1230 Soul Soul, Simmers. Today is an exciting day. We've heard you, and it's time to free the infants. Yes, you did hear us loud Learn and clear. Learn about what's new in the base game, what you can expect from growing together, and some issues the team has dealt with. What's new infants are now in the game. With the free base game update, you'll now be able to interact with your young sims earlier than before and set them up for a lifetime of excitement. Once your family's newborns age up into infants, or if you decide to go the adoption route, they'll have their own needs, emotions, and sentiments about their caretakers. Which we've needed, Chef if Kiss. If your sim doesn't want to adopt or want to, or can't, go through a pregnancy, they now have a brand new option. Science babies. Sims can have babies with the power of science. Sims can now ask others to use a mix of their genetic material to create new life or just do it themselves, as long as they've got the funds. Sims will spend less time as newborns. This life stage will last only a few days before they age up into infants. That doesn't mean they haven't gotten new stuff too. From the very beginning, newborns are going to seem like more of the family with the addition of the range of skin tones other Sims have. Yeah. They also will have It's it, it's it's sad that it took this long for the newborns to get the skin tones. That should have come with the skin tone update that we got years ago, being honest, but happy it's here now. Have the eye color they'll have for life. <clears throat> there are some other changes to their appearance and movements that will really help newborns feel like an active members of the household. Caregivers will no longer put them back into a bassinet between reactions, making caring for a newborn feel more natural than before. Yes, I hated that. Feed bottle, put back. Hug, put back. <laughs> oh my gosh. Finally. Before, plus toddlers and children will be able to interact with new family members by doing things like entertaining a newborn in a bassinet with childlike behavior. With a new life stage comes new looks. Infants have their own clothing, hairstyles, accessories, and most excitingly, personality traits. Find these new options in Create a Sim. There is also the addition of new furniture, decor, toys, and more to help make those infants feel at home and truly part of the family. You can find these new items in the kids section in Build Mode. Yeah! Once an infant is crawling, they're ready to go exploring. Keep them where they belong with the new baby proofing option for doors. Sims can get kept out with door permissions, and now, infants and toddlers can get kept in. Finally! Child skills have gotten a few adjustments. Sims will gain some skills quicker now, and the things they learn as children will now matter as they grow. Plus, UI improvements. I'm also hoping that with that, what I just read there, there's also some integration with parenthood. There has to be. There just absolutely has to be. Improvements. 
Don't worry, there's new stuff for your older Sims too. With this new update, there are new skin details in Create a Sim for Sims of all ages. Your Sims can now have birthmarks from birth. As they age, they can have stretch marks and C-section scars. Cool. CAS has another great new feature, you can now decide whether or not a Sim can produce milk. This new option can be found in the gender section of the more details menu. This is so detailed, like, I just, it's about damn time to quote Lizzo, like, oh my gosh. And here's some looks, we've already seen these, but these are actually a little bit higher quality than the ones we had before, honestly. Look at this. Look at these new skin details and scars. Amazing, 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 amazing. Menu. With more ways for Sims to interact than ever before, it was getting a little overwhelming to try and find what you want to tell your Sim to do. The good news is that interactions have been reorganized. The interactions menu now has new sections based on the type. If you want your Sim to ask another Sim to have a science baby, for example, that's a deep thoughts kind of conversation. Yeah. Want to give a funny gift? Try the silly behavior menu. High reorganization, it's going to take some getting used to, guys, but when you do, it's just going to make things so much easier to find, and once you get used to it, it's going to be like click, click, click. You're going to know where everything is. It's chef's kiss. From what I've seen from early access, I saw a few simmers going through. Perfect. You just, you want to go into a conversation being super shallow with small talk. All of that is in one section now for small talk. Boom, 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 all your interactions there, you can do that. Wanna just be flirtatious or romantic? All of that is in one section now as well. And there's deep thoughts and stuff, like that's so cool. Menu. There are 19 new sections in the interactions menu to help you find what you're looking for in less time. 19 to be exact, wow. Time. Bug fixes base game. All right, are we on to the fixes? Baby's skin tone in the skewer and household portraits should now match their skin tone in game. Aging up a baby will now properly take into consideration the genetics of the parent's skin tone. Can we just clap for this one right here real quick before we go forward? <laughs> this, is, this is something that's been asked for for a while, not just with the whole, you know, infants thing, but the whole free the babies improve the babies overhaul the baby's movement over the past couple of years one of the main things fixed cool tone live streaming as a tech guru should no longer reset your sim family members will now call your sim less often to ask their opinion about trying to have a baby instead <laughs> they'll just hear the news from their chatty aunt yeah they did that all the time <laughs> aunt Hair swatches in Create a Sim will now be more consistent across hairstyles and ages. We have addressed an issue where sometimes after traveling toddlers would no longer be able to interact with extended family members, who could blame them, just finished a long trip, you're tired, probably need a change of clothes, a bath, a good sippy cup, who wants to talk with family. I just realized guys, we never got a laundry list for this, but honestly I'm kind of glad. I really am. Alexa, Femme, and Anonymous, thank you for your donations. Just want to cover those last few ones. It does show them for me, and I didn't even notice the last stream. I was missing so many names. Family? Fear of unfulfilled dreams and fear of dead-end job will appear less often and feel appropriate when they do. Cool. Neighborhood stories will now welcome fewer newborns into the world. They've come to realize the amount of care infants require and don't want to miss a single precious moment. Sims won't constantly drop everything in their queue to check toddler. <laughs> Food that's in a that was the worst. That was the worst. Caring for the toddlers was the worst. In a container inside the fridge will take longer to spoil. Especially those 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 freaking high chairs. I never used them because they never worked, but now they actually work, which is awesome. Spoil. Moving to a new lot with twin babies will no longer ostracize one of the twins at the edge of the world. Flatworlders rejoice. <laughs> what? Moving to a new lot with twin babies will no longer 
Ostracize. What does that even mean? What does that word mean? My vocabulary is not that advanced. What does that word mean? Wait, there's a define? <gasps> Ostracize. Exclude from a society or group. I didn't know that I could pull that up. That is really cool. <clears throat> okay, to cast out. To exile. Okay, I see, I see. Flat world. Not the flat earther jokes. Can we not? <laughs> Rejoice. <laughs> Tell a toddler to run around. Now, they'll actually run when the run around interaction is selected. Wait, you have to tell a toddler to run around? <laughs> no, they'll if do it on their own. If you were able to get a toddler to run around, they would never stop. This sounds more like the toddlers. I know, this should no longer occur. Good. Oh my gosh. Sims will now be able to perform the read to child interaction while kneeling or standing. Cool. Oh my. So much tuning, guys. So much tuning. Standing. The YM body underscore jumpsuit long sleeve outfit is now available to male sims in Create a Sim. When choosing decor likes and dislikes in Create a Sim, industrial, holidays, events, vintage, art deco, luxe, shotgun, and shabby decor are now available options. Styled looks are a little less styled now. Choosing one won't change a sim's hairstyle, eye color, eyebrows, or facial hair. That was an issue? Thank god I didn't have that. Hair. Thumbnails are fixed in Create a Sim to show off cheek scars properly. Cool. Several nursery wall decorations have had a color consistency update. Toddler Create a Sim has gone through spring cleaning a bit early. If they can't wear it, it's not an option in the menu. <laughs> Gosh, the toddlers. You guys, this is, this is more than just the introduction of infants and an overhaul for babies and newborns. This is practically like an overhaul for toddlers too. Like they're fixing everything that was wrong with toddlers. I can't, I can't wait to, to start my, um, my challenge by the way, which I think I'm going to do, um, the ultimate infant foster challenge. You will learn more very soon. Toddlers are now taking care of at daycare instead of taking care of themselves. How did they even manage that? Imagine sending your toddler to daycare and there were no grown-ups and they had to take care of themselves. That? <laughs> alien diapers are now only available to aliens. Sims will now keep skin details added while on outfit categories besides every day when re-entering create a sim. You're you regardless of your clothing choices. Child, toddler, and infants are being a little stubborn when it comes to birthmarks which we are continuing to look into. But as long as birthmarks are selected while on the everyday outfit category, they will keep their birthmarks. Okay. Toddlers can now pick up toys that ended up under bookcases. Oh, good. Sims will now scoot more often as expected when directed to sit or nap on a single or double bed. Several gates, fences, and stairs were casting improper shadows. We've spoken to their architects and instructed them in proper shadow casting behavior. God, this patch is huge. And this is all these fixes, adjustments, and fine tunes. These are all for base game stuff too, which is crazy. That that is insane. Sorry, I just need a sip of water really quickly. This is all too much. I'm gonna have to read through this like five more times when I end this stream. Behavior. The Sim Stats panel now tracks total wants completed. Sims will no longer mistake the outdoor mailbox for a wall mailbox when publishing a book. It all gets to the same outcome, just without the shoving a book through the side of a metal mailbox part. Child Sims underwear category will now properly display according to their preferred clothing option. Wow. Be aware, acting, debating, and dancing in front of the mirror do actually increase your skill. I'm not really sure how that is possible. I have spent hours dancing in front of the mirror, and I'm still horrible. <laughs> Sims can properly use a mirror to practice dancing. I'm just going to say this is why I have not gotten better at dancing. <laughs> Who's writing this? Searching for stuffed animals will now result in even more stuffed animals, even if they aren't stuffed, but are more of a molded plastic. What? <laughs> Who is writing this, guys? Who is writing this? Oh my gosh, my Sims 4 playlist ended. I gotta hit shuffle again, guys. That's how long we've been on here. And that playlist never ends. 
plastic. Stuffed toys are now also toys and will count towards the play with three toys goal of the artistic prodigy child creativity aspiration. Several text updates have been made to skill level up text notifications to clarify the benefits provided by the skill. Good, cool. Attempting to sleep or nap in a bed your sim can't get to will now tell you that they can't get there. <gasps> Toddlers are more likely to be content- Really? That's interesting. Didn't it already do that before or was that broken? Oh my gosh, I'm missing so many things right now. Fem, thank you for the $5 donation. Alexa, thank you for the $5 donation as well to St. Jude. You guys are amazing. And Daisy, thanks for becoming a channel member. Content in their high chairs when their needs are taken <clears throat> care of. They may, however, continue to ask to be removed from the chair if left alone for too long or another sim checks on them. Male sims with masculine clothing preference should only see the swimwear category and not the swimwear and swimsuits category. Swimsuits sounds way too formal for swimming. <laughs> Toddlers asking for book help that are greater than three spaces away from the location of wherein the book help action shall be set forth to take place, shall forth with no longer sense a failure of action to the desired outcome, but uh, shall what? rather expect that the book help shall be unto provided to said toddler. Mom, that didn't process in my little dyslexic brain. <laughs> I'll come back to that later. Toddler. <laughs> Intimate sims that choose to chat will no longer reset and cancel the interaction. Okay, yeah, that. How oh my god. In the middle of an intimate moment feels like a reset moment to me. <laughs> this, these are the immersion breaking moments. They're fixing them. Thank god. Things like that. Yeah. Console players should see an improvement to input performance after opening the relationship panel. Also, another thing that I want to comment on, if you haven't noticed specifically with The Sims 4, is that you see a lot of Sims that are romantic together, whether they're boyfriend, girlfriend, 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 you know, they're a couple. But whether they're at home or out in public and you see them interacting, they they really don't do that many like romantic interactions autonomously. At least the NPCs I've noticed don't really do it that much. It's hard to tell that that is a romantic couple sometimes, especially if you don't know the townies that well. I've noticed that a lot. I don't know if that's a bug or if that's like, or if the game isn't designed to show that, you know, as much as the other games, because that was definitely more apparent in The Sims 2, for sure. Panel. The singing skill tooltip has been added to all showers that support singing. Those showers that don't support singing are too critical of my talent. Randomizing likes and dislikes in Create a Sim will no longer collapse the likes and dislikes panel. Oh Has my... You guys, that was insane. That was just for base game. That is insane. I don't think there... Yeah, there isn't as much for the... Actually, I kind of lie. That kind of is a lot for the packs. All right. Up next, cats and dogs. And dogs. Ultra speed is as ultra fast as it's supposed to be, even if there's a stray on the lot. Pets will now be nice to other pets when they're told to. Cats and small dogs should once again be able to root under dining tables. Yay, more efficient begging. Good. Get famous. Shoes are no longer distorted when Sims are wearing any color of YM bottom underscore EP06 pants vinyl underscore solid black. Island living. The marine biologist uniform now has work appropriate shoes. YF shoes underscore SP26 calf boot underscore two tone brown black no longer includes missing leg sections on lower graphic settings. Okay. Discover university. Seems the institution has faith after all. Sims who sit in on skill classes will get the proper certificate in their inventory when they're done, not a mixology one for every class. Passing the lawyer's exam will now let you try to pass the lawyer's exam, rather than just <laughs> failing you right off the bat. <laughs> it's supposed to be hard, but not that hard. But yeah, impossible. Eco lifestyle. Maker mentors will no longer speak in a strange coming soon language in their speech bubbles. Your sim will know where to go when trying to upgrade hot tubs with the water recycler using eco parts option. Items that can be used off-grid are now labeled as such. 
Thank you. 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 Okay. Before we go any further, I need an update from you guys in the chat. How is it going with the EA Play app right now? Have you had any luck getting it to work? Are you logged in? Are your games showing up? Are you able to update? What's the deal? Yes, no, maybe show. Oh. Oh, no, really? It's been it's been an hour and a half. Oh, a lot of you are saying no, but I am seeing some yeses at least. Well, that's good some of you can get in, but I really hope they get that figured out today. I'm starting to worry. I'm starting to worry they might not have that figured out today, honestly, guys. I don't know. All right. All your games are gone. A lot of people are saying all their games are missing from their catalogs. Don't worry. It's not going to be like that permanently. You will get your stuff back. Don't worry. It's, it's probably just a server thing. It's okay, guys. Everything will be okay. I know it probably sucks right now, but everything will be okay. Don't worry. Such. All right, let's go on to uh, cottage living. Cottage living. Wooden bridges now sound like well, bridges. Bridges made, made of wood. Of wood. <laughs> vampires. Sims who were vampires but are now Sims that aren't vampires will now be able to sleep more than three hours when tired. Good. Realm of magic. Randomized Sims will no longer randomize with curse warts. Star Wars Journey to Batu. Can we just delete this pack from existence? <laughs> can we just can we pretend can we pretend like it never happened, please? Batu. Moonbathe interaction has been removed as an option for Sims while on Batu. My wedding stories. Oh. My wedding disaster. Let's see what they've given us for that. <laughs> that pesky empty blue screen is no more. You'll be able to plan wedding events through the phone or calendar now that the menus show up as intended. Finnish, Norwegian, and Swedish options when choosing a bouquet now have fewer mid-word line breaks. You can now schedule your wedding event on the same day as holidays in the calendar. Cool. Awesome. Werewolves. Oh yeah. The icon Finally. coming soon icon for the full moon dream buff has been replaced with a really cool moon icon totally worth the wait hmm. toddlers wearing the pu body underscore gp12 onesie wolf should be safe to wear shoes now no more fear of their shoes ripping through the feet of the onesie werewolves ripping clothing i'm sure it was fine but sims were getting tired of the darn whole thing <laughs> okay so if we don't translate the issue from dev speak for players what happens Werewolf Sim they, LOD. Did Let they really make that whole thing a bullet point? <laughs> level of detail. Model displays pixel tearing deformation for HH, household, and pre-made Sims when they are in beast form. Hmm, that, that's fixed now. Cool. The Agave Abode washroom will no longer trap your Sim within its four walls, closing in on you, <laughs> refusing to let you leave, even if you wash your hands after use, which you should do. Yeah, you should always wash your hands. Wash your hands before you eat. There is nothing quite as sweet. That's right. Dude. Oh my gosh, we're coming down on the last ones, guys. The last ones. You find. Oh my gosh, I'm seeing a lot of people saying they're finally getting to update. I'm so happy. The update's taking so long. Is it taking longer than normal? It's probably because of the server overload, honestly. That's gotta be what it is. All right, guys, we're coming down on the final two. The final two. Let's do this. Nifty knitting and Mrs. Bathroom Clutter. Do. Nifty knitting. Sims can now add the same knitted items in different colors to their wardrobe. Cool. Bathroom clutter. Wall decals should no longer disappear when viewed from the back. All right, guys. That's it. It's a lot. For those of you having problems, okay, I, I, I want to say a bunch of things. First thing, for those of you having problems, hang in there. I'm sure it's going to be fixed. They, uh, If you're just joining in or if you weren't here at the beginning, they've already acknowledged it. EA knows they're working on getting the, the, the update up for you if you can't get it or if you can't get into your account. They're working on that. Number two, 
thank you for bearing with me today through this crazy stream. Number three, thank you to everyone that donated to St. Jude. We raised like over $2,000 again. The first stream we raised $1,000 and this we raised $2,000. I'm probably going to put the goal up for the month now. <laughs> so thank you. That's going to be up on this video for the rest of the month. Um, so if you catch this after, of course, you can donate and all of that stuff. If you're watching this after or if you're watching any other video for the rest of the month, it'll be on every video. And um, if there's any more news, I'll be back with you guys. I love you. Take care. And happy simming. See you guys later. Bye. Boo boo boo.